Right, and we've come literally probably two kilometres offshore. And if you think of how far we need to travel to chase tuna back home, it's a lot different to that. Now what we've got today, we're using the 12 weights, a stalker current, quite a beefy rod on a Galvin reel. They're the Torque series, which are, I think they're the best in the world anyway. Uh, being a 12 weight, because these fish can get pretty big, you need to be able to put a bit of pressure on them. We've got an 80 pound tippet and to a, uh, a fly, which is an ideal sort of pattern to imitate like a little pilchard or a bait fish. So uh, once, once the school's up and running, where like literally those birds will be, cast that fly in amongst them, strip it back pretty quick, and hopefully get a tuner on the end of it. All right, we've got a, uh, a school of tuna. And we're about, uh, I wouldn't want to swim it anyway, maybe three or four k's off, offshore. And you can see, obviously, by the birds that um, the tuna will herd like some, some um, little bait minnows and things like that up to the surface, and that eliminates one avenue for the bait fish to get away. The birds know that's how the tuna feed, and they're attacking them from the top. Um, and that's a, a dead set giveaway to a, to a fisherman that that's going to have a lot of fish underneath it. So uh, we've got to get up in front of them, and, and they'll generally feed upwind. And I've got a little fly that's uh, probably about four inches long that'll imitate like a little pilchard. We'll get that in front of them and uh, hopefully get one of these tuners to take. That's a lot of birds. Is there a tuner underneath them? school of uh, tuna as you can see that are really just boiling up that water and I'm gonna oh, got the 14 weight I'm gonna rip this fly in amongst them now it's about this time that you see the birds going ballistic and you just know that the tuna are pushing up those bait schools and you're a little apprehensive because you know some of these tuna, whether they be um, yellowfin or, or skipjack or, or mac tuna, they can get up to, you know, like your, your 40, 50 kilos, which on fly tackle is going to be, well, it's going to be great fun, but it's going to be hard work as well. So you're just not sure what you're going to come across, but you just know there's that many tuna there just by the, the birds. And this is what they're chasing. They're chasing these uh, little, little bait fish and they school them all up and they come and smash them. And this school in particular was was it was a school of mac tuna, and you can just see them. They just go through and they move so quick, but it's just so exciting. And to see it all unfold, uh, it's just amazing. It's just an amazing experience. Good. Just at the front. Yeah, right there. Got a big fly, nice school there. Got to strip it through quite fast. Come on, come on. And when you finally hook up, I think that's probably the most amazing thing here. Yeah, like I'm stripping line in, like I don't know, like I think it's a it's a, a trout from the Matau River. But then it um, it realizes that it's actually hooked and it's not in control, and then it turns and just goes. And the power, I mean, I'll talk about the power of tuna, you know, till I'm blue in the face. But to actually feel it is incredible. Now that's a drag that's pretty well locked up. I mean, it was a real struggle for us to even pull line, and that tuna was ripping it out like it didn't even know it was there they're just an incredible fish and the power they're so streamlined and their their fins fold in and they just go just a matter of time you just got to wear them down keep that pressure on um, and then you're going to get them near the surface and you know you're towards the end of the fight 
they'll start to do their little circles and the last sort of dives and things like that. But at about that time, you, your arm's aching, the reel's still singing, and the rod's still bent over backwards. But you're getting very close to the end, which is terrific. But you're just hanging out for the guide to lean over and grab these fish by the tail because they're just, they're an amazing fish, an amazing fish. And it's in real life, all their fins fold in. They're just so streamlined and just so powerful. They're just a fantastic fish to, to target and to catch. An amazing fish, the uh, Mac tuna. It's quite a, quite a large one. They don't grow as big as perhaps the yellowfin and that, but incredible strength. I mean, just the weight and just that streamlined, slender design. They just power through the water and literally they're unstoppable. And the, uh, even on that galvan reel, I had that drag really cranked up and it just took line off like it was, uh, like I didn't even know it was there. An amazing fish and it's something completely different, you know, it's not like catching a, a brown trout on the Matara. She's a very powerful fish and that's what Christmas Island's about, you know. It's easily the best bone fishing uh, destination in the world, but you've got all this on offer as well. And uh, this is actually like a bycatch because we're, we're, you know, after a sailfin, uh, sailfish, but we haven't got one of those yet. But uh, Christmas Island, you've just got to come and experience it because you never know what you can achieve once you get here. I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing. We specialise in guided tours throughout Victoria, but we also take groups to Alaska, Chile, bone fishing Christmas Island, and our most popular one, New Zealand. So if that's where you want to go, come in and see us at our stores in Bentley and Lumsden.